change has come to America. Believe me, help is on the way. Knock, knock. State legislature has approved a bill to make abortion a felony in that state. What? Now, if it becomes law, doctors who perform abortions could face up to 10 years in prison what? and a $100,000 fine. Huh? This is one of a series of anti-abortion measures that would take effect around the country if the Supreme Court allows them to. Janet Chamlin is in Oklahoma City with more on this story. Janet, good morning to you. Good morning. Gail, good morning to you. Oklahoma's abortion clinics have been caring for women from both Oklahoma and Texas huh. since last September. That's when Texas enacted its own sweeping abortion law. And Planned Parenthood here in Oklahoma says patients from Texas have increased 800 percent since that time. Now women from both states may have to travel hundreds of miles just for basic reproductive care. Holy crap. Keep your pants off our bodies. Protesters outside the Oklahoma Capitol Tuesday. It is a dark day in Oklahoma. After the Republican-controlled House passed a law banning abortions in the state, resoundly, 70 to 14. If you want to get elected, you want to be pro-life. That's the reality in this state. Oklahoma's bill is the latest in a series of anti-abortion laws passed by Republican-led state governments, including one in Mississippi, currently before the Supreme Court. If upheld, it would overturn Roe v. Wade. Right now, 21 states have laws on the books that would ban most abortions if Roe is overturned. Five others would likely follow suit. Eight more anti-abortion bills are currently making Eight. their way through the Oklahoma legislature. Eight more? And the governor, Kevin Stitt, says he is prepared to sign all of them. What the? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, this is what I woke up to this morning. I, I was like, uh, really? What? Uh, I thought they were all about small government. Small government, small government, how does that fit in? Oh, oh, so the government got so small that it can go right up my vagina, is what it is. Oh my God, so in Oklahoma, which is trying to be Texas, but without Austin, yes, this is the invitation for Oklahomans to call me up and tell me which town is like Austin in Oklahoma for some redeeming quality about Oklahoma. They're in a competition to see, you know, like who could what? Have the biggest government who can get into more people's lives in more obnoxious ways, Texas or Oklahoma? What is going on here? And how could you have eight more bills if this bill actually makes performing an abortion or attempting to perform an abortion a felony procedure? I'm reading now. Uh with a maximum fine of $100,000 and a maximum of 10 years in state prison or both. Also, it, 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 it makes it a crime for a woman to have an abortion. And uh, she's also then a criminal and she can be sent to prison as well. She can be sent to prison as well. She will be criminally charged or convicted for the death of her unborn child. If Roe v. Wade can be overturned, guess what, everybody? Women are now in the same class of human as a person who takes someone else's life at gunpoint or takes someone else's life by stabbing them to death or takes someone else's life by running them over with a car or or a plow or i mean this is women are are murderers in the eyes of the oklahoma house of representatives the eyes of the oklahoma governor Texas, I mean, what is going on with the small government crowd? I don't, and you know, they, they don't like freedom of speech. This is what we were going over yesterday. Remember I kept telling you, they're, they're a party of subtraction. Nobody wants to believe me until it's too late. Nobody wants to believe me until the ink is dry on the giant in, intrusion into your life by your government. Then everybody goes, how did that happen? When did that happen? Why didn't you say something? <laughs> Holy crap, so no free speech for you either. And what do I mean by that? Well, obviously, the Republicans are now threatening Disney. They're threatening Disney's business in Florida because Disney spoke up and spoke out against the thought police, right? He spoke, Disney spoke out against the, uh, the bill that prohibits teaching anything about gender uh, in schools, in public schools, 
to children, anything at all. So I just want you to understand that that means that you can't also mention to a eight-year-old that marriage is between a man and a woman. You can't because that is gender identity, right? So you can't even teach heterosexual uh, you know, uh, uh, you you couldn't you couldn't even talk to a kid about a book that has a married couple in it. You couldn't even teach a book about a heterosexual married couple. You you can't you can't teach anything to anybody because the thought police don't want you to in Florida. So Disney said, you know what? That that is the difference between right and wrong, and this is wrong. And so now Fox News and uh, you know everybody in the Republican Party, they're labeling Disney as a threat, Disney is a threat 